Hi, this is Di. I am in Anaheim, California. I'm here in California for the National Association of Music Merchants, the NAM show, to make videos for my Real Beal bass gear channel. I'm from the Seattle area and I am driving today. I'm going to go find my friends, Dan and Crystal. You know RFS Dan, Crystal, and Blake from the RFS fam. Today, Dan is the host with a hawk, serving up a live trivia show, Dantix, and Crystal hosts Getting Baked with Crystal, a live cooking show. They are the best corner of the internet. We have been friends for too many years to count. We met on social media through YouTube in a Google Hangout. And it's been so many years since we've gotten together because of the pandemic. The last time I saw Crystal was in 2019, and I last saw Dan in 2020. I'm Dan, and this is the Sunroof Parking Pass. <laughs> Hi, sorry my window's broken. Sure is nice out here, isn't it? I have never driven this drive through the, to get to the desert. I don't know my way around California. I have my Dollar Tree mug that I bought and my hot cocoa I made in the microwave in my hotel room. And so I think I'm I'm all checked out. It's 1051. We're hitting the road. Do that, but Kirk Crowley's gonna going to learn LA to traffic. We Podcast for the map. Sierra Highway and I was just looking for a place to stop and rest for a little bit. This is two hours of driving and that's a long time for me. I walked inside the McDonald's. Okay, let's be frank. I have not walked inside of the McDonald's in years. I walked inside of the McDonald's and it smelled so bad. I don't know what was wrong in there. I don't know if everybody had BO or the toilets were backed up or the food was rotting somewhere. There was a dead body. I don't know, but it smelled so bad I had to walk out. Tell me down below, does your McDonald's smell bad? Is that a normal thing? Is this a California thing? And that's my beautiful view. I sure do miss the days when Regan had a hotel discount. Yeah, everything looked kind of grimy on the outside, but once again, just like the last motel, looks like everything's taken care of nicely on the inside. All looks clean. Oh, little bathroom. That's a bear dog. All right, it's got everything. It's got the stuff. Oh, I didn't even have a coffee pot at the last place. I got a coffee pot. I bought a pair of shorts at Ross because <laughs> it was 77 degrees and I was boiling. I don't think it's staying that warm, so I'm gonna freshen up and go see Dan and Crystal. So what is it like here? I am driving to see Dan and Crystal and when I was pulling in, it looked like Moses Lake. It had a park, grass, and trees, just like Moses Lake. When I'm driving around, it looks a little bit like Yakima, like modern Yakima, because I'm hitting like Target and Ross. But there's mountains. I don't know if you can see them, but there's mountains over there and I didn't expect mountains. I am back at the hotel after visiting with my friends Dan and Crystal. We were not working, so we were not filming, but I did take a few pictures. They were so nice. They treated me for dinner, and they took me to Rubio's, which I don't have where I live. And then we went to the grocery store, then we went to Dollar Tree, and then we went to Rubio's. And then we talked entirely too much, and I took pictures of all the cats. And I'm gonna see them again tomorrow. More adventures await. No huskies. Look! I'm an Aldi. With I'm an Aldi and too. And Crystal! Is that exciting? We're an Aldi. I haven't been in Aldi in 27 years. Uh, my sister lived in Ohio, so I got to see Aldi, but uh, this is my first trip back because we don't have them where I live, in Seattle. It's in um, pine nut, roasted pepper, and then I think there's a pickle hummus. They're classic. It's a red so, garlic. Yeah. But like this has brie and gorgonzola and camembert. I see. So it's like everything's out of a variety pack. But if you try to do all your birthday. Look, the Isle of Shame. Shameful housewares and things. You know, I think I think I'm getting a little bit more credit than that. There are some great Aldi finds here at the Aldi. I think the shame is that you come here for groceries and then you spend $200 on this aisle. Kind of gives me a little bit of that Kmart feeling from back in the day. Yeah. I, I've been looking for this at home. A fridge tray assortment. Oh. oh man. Look at this one. It even holds a soda. Would you eat food that was spelled by a dog? 
pointing a, to trap a cat inside of a dryer because I've seen that cartoon. Vegan. Chicken fries. Cupcakes. Marilyn style. Okay, so I walked in and I had a moment that I had to vlog <laughs> because I walked in and I saw this. But it was too dark, so I asked them to turn the lights on, and they used her to turn the lights on. But I have to do this. <laughs> now, do I film at her? I don't know. I just have to go, Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa, no. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Alexa, turn off the lights. <laughs> Get your water. Are you going to be afraid of me too and run away? <laughs> and that is a wrap on my trip out to see Dan and Crystal. It's time for me to head home to Seattle. Check out this video here from a couple days ago at Nam, and down here that YouTube picked out just for you. <laughs>